Divine truth, with all its power and knowledge, will not compel a man to accept itself with, with, against his will. Do you understand what I mean by that? What I mean is that no matter how much in a truthful place you are, you will never want to force another person to be in that same place. And if you feel like you want to force another person to be in the same place, you are not in a space of love. You follow me? So how many times do you say to yourself, oh, I wish my husband would do that. <laughs> or I wish my wife would do that. You are actually out of harmony with divine truth when you do that. Right? Because what you're actually saying is that you wanting, you're having a feeling that they should be compelled in some way to do with their stuff. And what is God's feeling? They have free will. They're allowed to hold on to their stuff and feel its pain as long as they want. This is one of the reasons why religions go to war. So, is that in harmony with divine truth? Obviously not. So, would a, you know, would a person with a certain religious belief actually be in harmony with love if they decide to actually compel another person with a different religious belief to change their mind. Mm -hmm. And do you even really change a person's mind like that? Mm -hmm. uh, gun to your head, change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise I'll blow it away. <laughs> right? That's really what's happening, isn't it, a lot of times? And the, the spirit passes in that condition, and what are they feeling? They're feeling more anger, more rage, more disharmony with the person who was just trying to compel them. You will never want to compel another person against their will once you're in harmony with divine truth. So, when I'm saying to things like, I said the truth to my brother, I didn't say it so that he has to accept it. I said it because I love the truth and the truth is the principle. I'm not compelling him to accept it. And for three years he didn't. And that's okay too. And he can try to punish me for that for three years. That's okay too. So you pretty much say it and leave them with it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The truth is such a powerful, beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. You'll find this in your own life. The moment you start telling yourself the truth, emotions will just flow, you know, one after the other after the other. You'll wonder where, where how you started this whole, whole process of emotional flow, you know. And, and it all begins just from saying the truth.